again back to the Christmas stocking. And I didn't want you to get sort of left behind, sort of like get behind in your stitching because I'm not exactly on top of mine at the moment because there's all the things for Christmas to get ready. Um, but what I wanted to do was give you some information from Philippa about um, how we're going to, once I've moved this frame and we've moved it onto the hummocks at the bottom, the little hills at the bottom of this design, um, this design here, so it's this bit here that we're going to be looking at here. Um, Philippa's got a lovely little video that she took for us in the summer. She's talking about the sunshine outside when it's just rain outside at the moment. So it's, it's quite nice and refreshing to be able to uh, to think about back in the summer. Um, but if we go now and have a look at Philippa's video, she'll show us how to do the long and short stitches as soft shading on the hummocks. Um, and then we'll be all prepared to do that next bit. So long and short soft shading part two as the sun comes out and it looks so tempting to go outside but I'd really like to show you uh, where I've stitched over this area um, and you can see there are little shadows between some of the stitches. Now if you want a really bulky um, perfect look then you would probably go over with a single thread and work just in exactly the same places over in a single thread starting from the middle and working to the side. If you found any gaps around the edges here for example then you can just bring up your needle and just pop it down where there's a gap and let it bed down. So you can either do that in a single or a double thread. It's easier in a single thread though. So I've worked one half of the hummock and now I'm returning to the centre and I'm working starting with a three quarter length stitch and just finishing off my thread by beginning the second half, which you'll finish in exactly the same way. So I'm just casting on with a single thread with the three little seeding stitches as I did before and I'll leave that knot and the tail until I've finished this whole thread and then snip it away. Now I always start you know about an inch away from where I want to come up with my needle so that this little thing isn't in the way when you're stitching. So first thing I'm going to do is go back to where the original stitch was in the first colour which came up from the base and it went down over the edge and I actually used the ridges in the linen to count how many um, times I put my needle down and I, I put it down just in all each valley like that and then I go back over and I perhaps put in another thread if there's a little gap but really um, the main thing with this is to finish it not to make it look perfect so uh, the first stitch came up here and down there and I would call that the backbone of my shape now the second color the first stitch in the second color comes very high up up here and sort of splits it in two. So although you you want to split the thread, you're not aiming at anything because once you get going, you'll just be stitching. Come up through that thread and then with your finger, hold the stitch down in the same direction, exactly the same direction as the first layer of color. Um, when you're doing an animal or fur, you know, you can actually alter the angle very slightly up to about five degrees and with each layer of colour but for this particular one we're just going to go straight down and take your needle for the long stitches all the way down here. Now this stitch is about the same length as the first stitch in the first colour and then I'm going to take the needle up about a quarter way down that first stitch and then end about a quarter of the way from the base. So what you're in fact, effect doing is you're stitching an alternate rows of long and then short at both ends. Long. And when you have the long stitch, just lay it down, use your finger to keep the direction and pop it in. And you'll see that at the base here, I'm not really allowing for the first color, third color. The third color will come up through this. So again, long, and this will actually come all the way to the base here because it's the same length as this stitch here from here to here. When I come up through that, that will actually come down on there. Now I've left a little gap there, so I'm just gonna pop in another three quarter stitch because I'm slightly skew with angle to show you it in the sunshine. And then 
as you go towards the edge of this area, your stitches will just go long and three quarters because of course all the stitches will end up behind this other hill that's just blocking your view. Well, I found that really useful and I hope you did. Um, so once we've moved the frame and I'm start on the hummocks, I hope you enjoy doing this, this stitch as much as I do. And we'll be back then to have a look at the stag, which is the star of the piece. So um, look forward to starting that with you later in the week. So until then, happy stitching. Mm -hmm.